Hi, I'm Councilman Jim Godbout, and it's been my honor to serve you, the residents, for over 20 years on the Westland City Council, and I'm asking for your support for re-election. The city's come a long way in that time, and I'm proud to have had a part in that progression. Our Parks and Rec Department has seen major improvements over the past several years. We've done renovations and improvements to the ice arena and golf course, which are paying off with increased revenues at both locations. We've seen the cleanup and remediation of Central City Park, added the Farmer's Market Pavilion and Spray Park. We've added a new pavilion at J.C. Park, done major improvements to Hubbard and Stottlemyre Parks, and this year we're adding pickleball courts to Corrado Park and a new dog park on Marquette. We're looking at adding bike lanes throughout the city, as well as a potential new rec center utilizing the former Marshall Middle School. Economic development is important for long-term growth, and we've been successful in diversifying away from our predominantly retail business economy. U.S. Ferrothane invested $20 million and created 100 new jobs. The Regency of Westland Skilled Nursing Center was a $12 million investment with 120 new jobs. Garden City Hospital's new Westland Health Center and Emergency Room invested over $10 million and created at least 40 new jobs. U.S. ICE moved their headquarters and added production capacity, taking over the former Dick's Sporting Good location. And there's more coming. New home developments are happening in all areas of our city, and those developments are selling out very quickly, with several more slated to come on some vacant school sites. Public safety is an area that concerns all residents. Our police department prides itself on being open and transparent as our online dashboard demonstrates. Many of the policies and training that we provide our officers are what are now being discussed as requirements on a national level. We added a domestic violence advocate, and in the current budget, we've added a social worker. In our fire department, we've added firefighters, built a new fire station, and made updates and improvements to the other stations. We bought new rescues and added power lifts to all of our rescue units. I'm honored to have received endorsements from the Westland Lieutenants and Sergeants, the Westland Police Officers, the Westland Professional Firefighters, the Police Officers Association of Michigan, and Wayne County Sheriff Ray Washington. These endorsements demonstrate the commitment and support that I've shown to our residents for public safety. Council's major responsibility is managing and approving the city budget. During my time on City Council, we've moved from having a $200,000 fund balance to having over a $7 million fund balance. That didn't come without a lot of hard work and effort on both the administration's part as well as with the help of our unions. We restructured all of the labor contracts and reduced our long-term pension liabilities, saving the city millions in future legacy costs and eliminated pensions for elected officials. We've dramatically improved our bond ratings in both our general fund and water and sewer funds, which has allowed for lower, lower interest rates when funding projects. The city has recently been awarded over $25 million of federal American Rescue Plan funds, and will also see significant dollars in infrastructure money once Congress finalizes the $1 trillion bipartisan infrastructure bill. The ARP funds can provide an impetus for improvement and growth within our community if properly allocated. The infrastructure dollars, once finalized, are designed to help rebuild our deteriorating roads and bridges, update our water and sewer system, and fund new climate and broadband initiatives. Since serving on the council, I believe I've demonstrated the ability to understand the complex issues, offer innovative ideas, suggestions, and solutions, and build consensus. That experience will be crucial to ensure that this new funding allocation is properly utilized. I'm asking for your support for re-election to the City Council in order to continue to serve the citizens in a positive fashion and to help the city continue on with our forward momentum. If you have any questions or concerns, I can be reached at 734-331-6665, on Facebook or Instagram at Councilman Jim Godbout, or on my website, www.jimgodbout.net. Thank you.